Hey, Steph. Hi, Christy. How are you tonight? Oh, I'm awesome. Welcome, everyone, to the No Filter Fibercast with Stephanie. And that's Christy from Crochet Creations by Christy. Yeah, Stephanie from Stephanie's Yarn Escape. And we are bringing you a fiber show that is absolutely unedited. We haven't said this before, have we, that we are actually taping late at night and then yeah. not looking at it until we actually watch it with you in the premiere. So yeah, no it editing. Be. It is what it is. If cameras fall, it's in there. <laughs> the kitty cat. Yeah. So what else we do on this crazy show is we pick out nights where we shop late at night for <laughs> this show and we get it like a month later. So we forget what and how we ordered and show it on, <laughs> on the show. And then the other thing is we also are making stuff together that we only make and show on this on the show together so it's exclusive yes. yes you won't see these things on our regular shows maybe sometimes once they're done we might show it again or something but not during not during and until it's shown on this show right when it's all all shown here first so yes. the first thing we decided we would show you is our lean on me show right yes which mine hasn't gotten any love Mine got some love, not a whole lot, but some. So I may be close to you because you was moving on it quite, quite quickly. Okay, was. well, I'll tell the hook size if you want to tell the pattern. I mean, the yarn. All right. We're using an H hook. This is Lean On Me. You can find this where? Ravelry? Ravelry, it's a free pattern um, by Stitch With Passion. Here's the pattern. like what it looks like for their picture. Yes, it's a four row repeat. Yes, super one side easy. of the shawl stays straight and one side increases. Yes, right. and the yarn we're using for it is the Cabaret uh, DK style craft and the colorway Underwater Rainbow. It's a 98% prima acrylic, 2% polyester. And each one of these is 251 yards. And our plan is to use two of them. Yes, we have two of them. Who knows when it'll be done? No, I yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm pretty positive not anytime soon. If I was the betting gal. That's what I bet with. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I did about four rows. <laughs> I told you I didn't do much, but <laughs> what's funny is, is I think I did about five. <laughs> We're the same. <laughs> same but wound differently. <laughs> We're the same but wound differently. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's very pretty. It is. It is very soft. You can't feel that sparkle. No, you can't at all. But I did notice that you can break the sparkle. Oh, really? Yeah. I have a Susan Bates hook, which you do not. No. And I'm if cool. I get it caught in the hook and I go to pull... It snaps that. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, that, uh, what do they call it? I don't know if they call it Selena. They probably don't. They probably call it other fibers. Polyester is all it says. Yeah. So, yeah, I have snapped it. Really? Yeah. But then, you know, after a couple more stitches, it'll go right, it'll work itself yeah you know, flat again but it's it reminds me of shawl in a ball that has the sparkle yeah i honestly never worked with shawl in a ball so oh well you know what i have another challenge that i will eventually you know bring on the show not not right this minute because we're doing... <laughs> you see the panic in my eyes for a minute i was like <laughs> Yeah, I, I occasionally shock her, but she has yeah. no idea what I'm going to say. And, no. you know, but she's getting, so she starts shocking me too, you know. <laughs> uh, here's mine. Payback, you know. <laughs> right, right. That's how karma uh -huh. works. <laughs> here's mine. 
not too far. It's so pretty though. It is pretty. I really enjoy it. I think it's big. It's going to be gorgeous. So yeah, I didn't get very far either with my flamingo stitch marker. Yeah. By Deb. Awesome. It's very pretty. I like how it's turning out. And I'm interested to see the wider we go. Obviously, the colors are going to not be as wide and stuff. So I'm interested to see how the overall looks once you get going with. Yeah. And what about when we add on the second skein? Is it going to be obvious? Yeah, that should be interesting. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, not much progress. That's probably, yeah, it's not, a, 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 honestly, it's not a priority on my list. I work on it when, because it's an easy pattern. Once you figure out where you're at, yeah, where you left off at, you just go. Yeah. And so it's one of those easy things where I don't feel like concentrating kind of night. Yes, exactly. But, so... Want to move on to anything that you have that doesn't pertain to the cuddle along? Um, what about the um, the cakes? You want to do the cakes? Okay. So we opened up some red heart. What is it? Tweed. Uh, yeah. Mandala tweed stripes. Oh, it's Mandala. It's Lion Brand. I'm so sorry. It's Lion Brand. <laughs> <laughs> okay so anyway it's like really crazy colors and I picked to do the study of texture by the crochet crowd Mikey came up with this crazy square and so is it like eight different stages or something I you know what? I don't think I ever noticed how many there were. I just know what one I'm on. <laughs> well, I made a playlist and I added them to the playlist. So on my channel, you can find the whole playlist from the oh. announcement to the end. So I've been just going to that playlist and picking up where I left off. Yeah. What I was going to say, Steph, is that maybe we should just stick to doing one, um, one of the videos in in between like don't go ahead like stop at one of because you have two done right you have episode yeah. one and episode two okay yeah so at this point we are going to be at the at the same place and that's why I, I suggested we just do three next time and come back and show it if okay we can do that week by week or episode we do one week yeah Good yeah we, however long we're off yeah just stop it okay so the, yours looks really colorful. That that is that the one you have open? No, this isn't the one I have open. The one I have open is very similar to this one, but this is also the other color with the same color. This is what drives me nuts about this this yarn yeah. because they're both called rainbow. Well, that's and the, yours that looks completely like different. This one is like that one you have. Yeah, it's just I'm interested to see how this turns out. I have a plan how I'm gonna. Put it into the blanket but hopefully that doesn't mess it up i guess i don't know but the the colors i mean none of these colors are in this color but i mean whatever i think but I mean, it's the right pattern for this young know, yeah i think it yeah did. i think you did too because even though it is marled it still allows you to see the texture okay one of us gotta show it yes i guess we should do that huh <laughs> all right I'll go first. Okay. Oh, wow. So there's only really, I see green and blue. That's what yeah. I see. So here in the center is mostly just like two shades of green. And then it radiates to like a green and blue. And then here's two shades of blue, like a regular blue and a light blue. So. Yeah, but it looks like you color controlled and you didn't. I know you didn't because we said no. we were going to. No way, Jose. <laughs> and you can't because it, it slowly changes. Yes, it's very um, subtle. Like in your stitch work, like when I was working with it, I noticed the color change, but it's not as drastic as I thought it was going to be. So like it's, it's somewhat subtle, but mm -hmm. when you're working it up, it's even more subtle, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. again the same but different because yeah. when I show you mine you're gonna think it's totally different 
<laughs> Holy cow. That is completely different. And we have the same colorway. Not even close. Right. But you can tell it's the same pattern. Yes, you can. That looks really beautiful. I love those colors. And I don't. But that's because I've been having to use it constantly. Yeah. yeah. And every time I pick it up, I go, ew, this is <laughs> ugly. <laughs> but All right, can you, can you do this? let me just point something out real quick. So in reference to this yarn, would you consider it the same but wound differently? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it absolutely is. Is this us in a yarn cake? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in a nutshell. <laughs> oh my. This is too much. But yeah, but there is a couple of things that I wanted to point out too, is that I thought that Mikey does a pretty good job at tutorials, but the first time he said you should have ended in a front post double crochet, I looked at myself and thought, well, I'm on row 12 and you never said how many stitches per side once ever. No, so I wouldn't no, have known if I was on the right track or not and you know what after he did that and after i was on the wrong i gave up and just kept going so i know i have mistakes and i don't care i don't give a crap no more because <laughs> because i'm not gonna pull it out it no does, it does have a little bit of well before i said it was wimpy and that's why i didn't want a double crochet with an eye hook because it was making it too wimpy that was when I did the swatch. Yeah. So that's why I suggested we go to an H, but that's because I am a loose, looser, not loosey, loosey, goosey, but I'm not real tight either. So uh, and I was, it was leaving too much holes. And I don't think a study a texture blanket meant is meant to have holes in it. Right. So um, I, went to an H and I, I, I prefer it, but somewhere I'm off count. And it's probably due to the fact that he had us do half double crochets. And when you come back around on a second row of half double crochets, you can sometimes either miss a stitch yeah. or put it in the- Especially that first one. And, and add one. one. Yeah. Yeah. So I, and at this point, I don't care. I don't care if yeah. not even one step work out. I'm not going to hurt it. No one is going to notice. Right. But you. Right. Exactly. So, yeah, I, it's, it's going to be fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. Um, I also, the technique he has in the corner when you join with the half double crochet instead of the chain two, I kind of like that. It's the first time I've done that. When we, the very first like step that you had to do, the very first time you had to do it, I was very confused of what I was doing because I was just listening and not looking, I guess. And once I rewound it and looked and see what I did, I caught on and I really like that instead of the chain two because I'm, then it I'm, hides that joining corner. Well, I'm really surprised that you never, um, came across that before because it puts you in the middle of the corner where a lot of blankets you sometimes have to ch uh chain you know you hear me? Stitch to get yeah you are frozen if you can hear me i cannot hear you <laughs> oh shoot this is life you know you hear me yeah I oh can't. you're frozen on my screen <laughs> It says my internet connection is unstable. Oh, okay. Hear, okay, so we had I a little blip. Now. Let's keep going because I don't, we might lose it and we'll just, yes. So fine, or it's fine. What I was going to say was that most of the time, a lot of times it'll tell you to slip stitch to the corner or the next chain space or whatever to start right. your next row. And I've, so I've seen that before. Yeah, it's the first time I've done it. Like, I I really like it because then it hides that 
joining corner quite well. It, you don't even see it. I like it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we, we kind of like that pattern, um, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's not so much the yarn, but the pattern. Yeah. The yarn is definitely different. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, you know what? I think we should draw from okay. our last videos. What did we have up for grabs? I bet you there's people that don't even know there was a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> well. So I had, if you said you wanted to win on my channel, because the video goes up on both channels. Yeah. You had a choice of the pumpkin. I love that color. Or the the dark gray love that color too so i'm gonna go to my channel's video and scroll that uh youtube comment picker thingy and see if i can come up with a winner here it's gotta wake up you know yeah YouTube, i had to wake mine up too youtube comments oops Something went wrong, it says. It's got to log into the Wi-Fi, too. <laughs> Here it goes. 26 comments. That's not very many. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? They're not going to say anything about the giveaway. You watch. <laughs> that wouldn't be the first time that's happened on the show, either. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it at all. It did stop, but I can't see it. Catherine. Oh. oh, really? She says, you two always put a smile on my face. Would like to try the dark gray yarn for an Outlander-inspired project. Ooh, very so nice. Congratulations to Catherine. She wins That's that yarn. Yay, congratulations. Yippee. All right. All right. So uh, on my channel, you could win. You had your choice between... The soft starlight um, reflective yarn in gray, two skeins of that, or this go homemade twist yarn in that tan color. That's this is really soft. It is super soft. And wait, I fell back to sleep. Hold on. I know that those things they don't stay on for very long. No, I had twenty one comments. Not too bad for my channel. No. And so we're going to Karen Kutum Barrett. Oh. <laughs> she, says, she says, love you two laughing and having fun showing all your projects. Love it all. Congratulations, Cindy, and thank you to thank you to Stephanie and Christy. Pumpkin Amigo is what I would love to win. I would love the reflective yarn. You guys, thank you for the party. I needed this fun. Congratulations. <laughs> she actually just won um, on my channel. I wish I'd known that because I just mailed out her package this, this morning. No, isn't it crazy? <laughs> well, 21 people, I mean, it's bound to happen. Right, right. So congratulations, well, Karen. Send me a message with to let me know that you won. <laughs> Well, I got to tell you, um, I decided to take that reflective yarn right out to this to the couch. Oh, and really? I, yes, I did. And this is all I have left of it. So this is what? the dark gray colorway. And I I don't know if it said it on here or not, but it was dark. It was darker than yours, right? Yeah, mine's a light gray. Okay, so oh, it just said a lot number. Okay. So what I did was I did the Bod Hat 582 Super Texture. And I hadn't done that one before. I think it was a rather new one. And so here is my hat with the reflective yarn. Okay. Super Texture. Look at that. Yes. That's nice. Now what I want to know is if I wear it outside... In the dark, will the headlights? I bet it will. And the reason there's only one way to find out. If you look, you can see 
little tiny items. Oh, you can see a little bit. Little when yeah. you move it, you can see it like it glistening. It looks almost. like plastic sparkles all through it, but it doesn't. But it doesn't sparkle. Like I hold it like that, I can't see it. Yeah. Um, how was it to work with that yarn? It felt. It felt like normal yarn, but you can feel little pricklies. Yeah. It almost feels like a wool yarn, but because yeah. of the, but that's the plastic. Yeah. But it it's all plastic, right? Because it's acrylic. Well, yeah, fourteen percent reflective yarn, eighty six percent premium acrylic. So yeah. Yeah. So it's all plastic anyway. Yeah. So huh. yeah. So that is a large, probably twenty two inch. 23 inch head so a man could easily wear this absolutely you know, out okay so i tried it so I you mean, started it and you finished an a project all in one <laughs> yeah yeah i didn't it. give it away i decided to use it so yeah good deal <laughs> all right i think i think we can move on to the cuddle along yeah our cuddle along runs from april through july so we are on the last month oh my I gosh see, i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish my stuff we'd I'm like to see once in a while your updates if we're if you don't mind oh I mean, absolutely i mean you know i started new stuff so yeah i might not finish that yeah not in a month, but then again, <laughs> yeah. you never know. You just never know. Right. Well, so, are you working on the, um, oh my, I just drew a blank. What's that yarn called with the stuffed animal? Hug me. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you stay up late. I know, it's almost bedtime. It is. It is. It's called the, uh, yeah, there's no label on this sucker. I can't even read it. Look it. I know. <laughs> Tell you what it says. No. Nope. <laughs> Nothing. It's blank. Just like my brain. Okay. So it's hugged me and it's a too fine and it's yep. a ton of yard. It's like 500 yards. Yes. It comes with a little bear or a dog or a lamb or something. And it matches the yarn. Yeah. It's very adorable. It's not really soft, but I bet you it'll soften up when you wash it. Yes, I think it's one of those yarns that soften with, with usage and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So how far did you get? You're doing well, which way fillet, right? I am, and I I'm remember. using. Yeah, I'm using this the green one yeah. with the beige and the cream. It's very pretty. I'm glad I chose this one, but I didn't get too far. Uh, it's I, growing though. It is growing slowly but surely. I about got two rows on there. Yeah, very pretty. But it's working up so so nicely. I'm glad I chose this pattern for this because it is working up quite nicely. And this is my first time doing this pattern because everyone seemed to be doing them, and I had to jump on the bandwagon. Of course, I had to be included. I can't be so, left behind. What I don't know if you can notice it, but the the triangles and the which you know the di different directions they stand out in the camera so good in this yarn. Okay. don't make a mistake because it'll show yeah <laughs> so what you saying don't watch it during grace that's right do not watch <laughs> it during grace <laughs> uh-huh and I've, i'll show you mine even though it didn't get any love it didn't get any love. That's okay. I, mean, I like looking it, at it. It's so pretty. It did a row, I think, or two. Yeah. It is a spider web blanket. Do I have it upside down? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Can you see? Oh, yes. Can you see the first spider web is done now? Yep. Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so pretty. So now you'll do another fillet row and start another spider web. Oh. So it'll look like squares on top of squares. 
yeah you keep repeat and it's like 16 row repeat oh really yeah so you have to check them off yeah there's a section in here that's easy but you can never know for sure a section in here i mean that's uh -huh. easy but you can never you don't know for sure if you've done four of them or th three or five or what so you gotta you gotta check them off right and especially when you set it down for a while there ain't no way you're gonna know where you're at if you pick it back up that's right that you don't want one to have 15 rows and one to have 16. it just look you can tell right immediately because you have it all boxed in mm -hmm. that whole you know yeah that whole thing is boxed in so yeah it's so it's, pretty in that yarn now it's gonna be forever that's all right it's a we're gonna fun. be here forever okay but it's <laughs> too fine so i mean you know <laughs> you, you're you, I, it's close work and i don't mind it but i don't love it love it like it's not it's my not favorite too because this yarn is not my favorite it's not a smooth and again we're doing reviews so it's not a smooth yarn it it's a text you can feel it it doesn't yeah. it doesn't move along at a good pace you've got to place it yeah Does that makes absolutely sense? i agree yep okay okay what else do we got i all i have left is the items for the cuddle along which yours have come and gone and yes but i have new ones tonight that i haven't shown oh. anywhere well, let's see your new ones. Oh, see? I have been busy, just not on what you thought I was working on. <laughs> <laughs> I started a new blanket and sweater set. And Ooh. they are going to match. Ooh. I mean, they're not going to be the same yarns. And they're not going to be the same craft. Because I'm doing some of it crochet and some of it knit. Just like mm -hmm. before. So I picked out some more of this baby bliss stuff from the store now i did show the yarn this is a blue like a teal is that okay what I, see? Oh, I see it looks like uh in here i can <laughs> they get a flying these are this is a four medium so this is going to be ship blue that's the colorway ship blue oh huh. i got three skeins of this okay one white and one variegated. Okay. So I started a super superbly simple granny square, which is the same as the blueberry blanket over there. Yeah. And all I have is the very middle, but this time I'm color controlling because I have three colors of yarn and I'm going to change it when I want to. Yeah. 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 So I'm not quite sure what row I want to change it on. I think I want to do a little bit more. Yeah. Because there was only one of the variegated in the store. So I couldn't buy more than one. What's the variegated look like? Of course, you would ask me that. Remember when we said we'd forget something? Oh. It's just, <laughs> it's just over there. So let me go get it. Okay. Hang on. Yeah, we're here. We'll be here waiting. I just said to her right before we recorded, I said, I feel like I'm forgetting something and I just don't know what. And so far I'm good. So far I don't think I forgot anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the here's the variegated. Oh, is that gray in there? It is, of course it is. They put gray in all their colorways of this. Oh, really? And, yeah. Ain't so that's fun. why what I did was I was thinking the same as I did before, but I'm going to do a white section, a variegated section, go back to the blue because I have three stains of the blue and that'll be the main color. So I have three stripes of that blue. Uh -huh. And then of course, adding halo in yep. the gray. See? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh man. I'll just save just enough for a lovey and I'll do yeah. another elephant lovey to match. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be so cute. Yeah. Oh man. I can't wait to see that one more like coming together. That's gonna be so pretty. Yeah, as long as it doesn't get back back up to 90 degrees, because I tell you, <laughs> there is nothing <laughs> worse than 90 degrees and trying to have a blanket on your lap making it. But I did it. I yeah. did that blue one in the heat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's 
just hoping you don't have to do that again. I almost had heat stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're not used to that heat like that new. Oh. Not not for any length of time. You know, yeah. like two o'clock to four o'clock once a week, if that, maybe yeah. two months out of the year. That's it. <laughs> that is it. The minute you get home and want to go in that pool, it's cold. Yeah. That's what New York is like. Five minutes, you get, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes and it'll change. <laughs> so funny. So um, another piece started to go with that. Ooh. And this is going to be uh, just a, a vanilla sweater. Okay. And it is in Yarn Bee Puppy Kisses. So it's the blue flack. Absolutely Hi. gorgeous yarn. If you ever get a chance to grab any kind of color of the Sweet Delight, just to feel it and use it, you will fall in love with it. Yeah. You know, the, the feel of it and the way that it's so smooth to work with, it's a dream. Yeah. So it's I know. Sweet that. dreams appropriately. <laughs> because the baby, the baby can go right to sleep on a blanket yeah. made out of this. <laughs> so this one is the blue speckle colorway and I thought it would match perfectly to this blanket because oh, yeah. that speckle is not like real real dark or real light so you're, it's going to blend in perfect so I'm, like I said I'm just doing a vanilla sweater oh that looks there, so pretty there's my collar and my rag, raglan down top down you increase until you get to the sleeves and then you break. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So Very I, I already got 16, I think it's 16 rows done. Good deal. Yes. That's going to be, that whole set's going to be gorgeous. Absolutely. And I know I'll make some booties out of this to match the. Yeah. It's just, I have not gotten a stitch count down on a hat yet. Yeah. You'll get there. You're going to try a knit hat with that? I've made hats and I don't have it down in my book exactly what I like for each size yarn yet. Yeah. So I'm still, I'm still struggling with, because you know how I am with crochet. Mm -hmm. I like this pattern. I like this piece out of this pattern, this piece out of this one, this piece. No pattern do I like all of the pieces, nor do right. I like all of the stitches. So I right. use the base and I mix and match. And I've got it down now of what I like. But now that I'm knitting, I like the material a lot better. It's mm -hmm. a lot more giving for the little arms. So now yeah. I'm going to knit everything. Right. And so I need a good stitch count for vanilla sizes for all the size yarns. And, yeah. I, and I have a good book for the four medium. But I, I don't know. I just don't think I do on the three yet. Yeah. So what there. I did was I took the three and I did the size for the, the large rather than the small. Okay. And I got a bigger, bigger sweater. I mean, you, I mean, look at this. This is tiny. It shouldn't really be the small. small. It's really small, but it's so cute though too. <laughs> it will fit a newborn, but not for more. As soon as he's a week old, forget it. I mean, that's yeah. not big enough. That I that's not a go-to size. Yeah. So that's my no filter. But I think I got a little bit better now because I have to go to like 30 rows. So I'm gonna double this before I cut for the sleeve. So there you go. It's already looking almost big enough to go around my neck. But yeah. you know, it that doesn't mean it's gonna be too big. It's just that I'm saying is. Right. You start pulling these in and sew them together. And the next thing you know, you have nothing left. You're yeah. Up, you're up to just this little tiny neckline. Yeah. You know? no. So anyway, but it's beautiful. Beautiful yarn. It is so, so pretty. Soft. Yeah. I, just I haven't it. worked with it. I've seen it. I've touched it in the store, but I haven't, I haven't bought any. And I haven't, I haven't worked with it. So you I'm going to have to add that to my list. Did you see any on... Hobby Lobby clearance because I saw one colorway. There was none at my Hobby Lobby with that. There was an uh, empty. There was an empty um, thing, so it was already grabbed. Oh, okay. I saw the lavender 
colorway, like it's um, splotches, like, I don't know what you would call it. It's not really a speckle, but I showed it in my last video. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that catches me up on my wick. Well, I have some progress on my cuddle along objects. So the first one, and I'm like Christy, I, I pull from different, I pull different patterns into a set. I don't make anything from one particular set. I think and everybody does, don't you? If they've they, been uh, crocheting a while, yeah, I think. I would say so. Yeah. Um, so you guys have seen us every single time we've had an episode since we started this cut along. <laughs> This thing is still not done, uh -huh. but it has lots of progress on it mm -hmm. compared to last time. So it's it's halfway done now, and that doesn't sound good at all. Now that I'm talking about it, halfway done, and we are what July sixth. <laughs> it ends in 25 days. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. So there's the blanket. Well, we probably won't start another make along right away. Well, I hope not. Don't be throwing any surprises at me. Well, we have our, our works in progress. That's not a make along. <laughs> right. That's just um, stuff we work on. <laughs> here is the... I found it on Pinterest. I never printed out the pattern. I don't know if it's going to work. But I found it on Pinterest. We tag it in every... Here it is. It's the Buffalo Plaid Baby, baby Blanket by stitching together. And it's going to have the plaid edges on the sides. Yeah. So it's not, it's not, it's not hard. It's just time consuming. So I'm halfway on that. Yeah, and but then, you ripped it out once too. I did. I was 30 rows in and I ripped it out because <laughs> it, it, I couldn't do it. I had to rip it out. Um, oh, I, I'm going to share something here just to make you feel better. Okay. I don't know if it will or not, but for almost two whole years, I have challenged myself to make at least one, two, or three hats a month for several months. Yeah. And I changed it last October to one knit and one crochet. And yeah. last month in June, I did not get my knit hat done. I, I heard you say that in your last video. It didn't actually make me feel better when you said that because I'm like, well, I'm not the, you know. Well, you know I, what? I ripped it out. I had two rows done and I didn't like it. So I ripped it out. And when I packaged up that yarn to send to the winner, I packaged three of them and sent her all three. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. That's Why again. not? Yeah. I didn't use it. Right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we all, I, we all have goals and I put myself I'm like I'm gonna have this done in so long and yeah it doesn't always work out that way and that's if, okay if this is supposed to be a hobby and you're supposed to love yeah. doing it and you put your goals too high you're not gonna yeah. love doing it anymore or if no. like you say if you have orders and you have to fill those orders you're not gonna love doing it anymore exactly that's why I stopped doing orders <laughs> Because they stress me out. Yeah. All right. Well, so, so I have the lovey. I have some progress on the lovey. I'm doing the plaid mousse lovey that we randomly found one night when we were doing our episode on Pinterest. We were, we were taking a break for whatever reason. It was a, a long... It was, we I took a was break our, because we were told you could only do 40-minute segments. Oh, that's right. That's right. And we so, found out that the sucker don't cl close at 40 minutes, and we don't know why. So we're still taping. Although yeah. it might have done the blip in there. Is that what it did? I don't know. Is Are we still? No, it says I, recording. Woo, yeah. that was close. Can oh. you imagine? <laughs> it would have been like 30 minutes and not recording. I would have shot myself. <laughs> No, that would be so awful. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so awful. We would have to do it all over again. And it's already bedtime. Yeah. It would have waited till tomorrow. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, Although you wouldn't get to open your bag of mystery. No, I've been so excited about it. I know, me too. 
I didn't cut it. I didn't cut it. Nope. I, I just have the cut top open. That's it. I haven't. I haven't peered inside. All right. So, anyways, well, the. The movie by Whistle and Ivy. It's a paper pattern I found on Pinterest. And I had some of the head done the last time I showed you guys. Now I have the whole head done. <laughs> That's it? That's I had it. to, you guys. I had I have, to. I, and, I have, and I have the nose done, the whatever you want to call it. But see, the thing is, what I don't understand. Okay, so I've made a few lovies in my time. And when you finish the head, you close it and the head gets attached to the blanket. But this one told me not to stuff it yet. So I'm just gonna, I haven't read ahead to see why and what what's happening here. So it, I didn't stuff it. Maybe it has feet. No, it just has two arms. I don't know. I'm going to go with it and see what happens. Um, so I didn't stop it. It told me not to. Girl, but I'm girl so listen to me. I told you, Stephanie, she don't read anything. Now, how many patterns do you know that doesn't say read the whole entire pattern at the beginning of this pattern before you start your, your project? I, never I know that. I know it says that. It says I that. never do. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't read ahead because then I, I'm like, if I find it up there, I'm like, let me see if I can do this first. I can't. Then I confuse myself. So I just, when <laughs> the when I get that yarn right on the hook, that's the first time I'm looking at the pattern. We're going to go, row what? <laughs> <laughs> so it said not to stop it. And it's not closed. It said don't close. And I don't know why that stitch marker is on there. Um, don't close so and don't stop. Ripping out. Well, it, I have it fastened off. Oh. And it says to leave long tail, so I left a long tail. Oh, okay. But I have a nose done too. You're talking to somebody that doesn't make amigurumi, so I know. It means it, I mean I I kind of know. Don't get me wrong, I have you made something. I just don't like the way like I never stuff it the amount that it should be. And then I get it all done and it's not stuffed enough or it's overstuffed and it's got a bump over here. You know, and yeah, really? that's the best techniques I'm working on now. So <laughs> we shall see. It looks now, like it's got a side lapse or it looks like it's drunk with its eyes or something. You know, I've made those. I've made those. Um, the yarn I'm using for that whole set is Karen Simply Soft. So of course, um, it's the gray and two shades of red and black. And then for Lovies, I usually don't for amigurumi and stuff like that i usually don't like using karen simply soft but i had this shade of brown in my stash that i felt fit right for the mousse and plus i wanted to main like i didn't want the mousse to be too big versus the blanket i just wanted to remain the consistency i have ocd about that you know so i ended up yeah. using brown the chocolate in for the mousse too so okay we shall see so you no, mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of using this frame of grooming. Uh -huh. Yeah, because it's it's wimpy. It's wimpy yarn. Yeah. I'm sorry, it, but it's true. It's it's really, it dra I love it for blankets because it drapes so well, but it doesn't hold, like, I've used it for stuffed animals in the past, but I prefer something more, I don't know the words I'm trying to say. Like, I love this yarn. It's more structural, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. That's why they call it worsted weight. You know? Yeah. It's your, um, yeah, I know what word I'm looking for now. And of course, it's not going to come to me. <laughs> I know. Sorry. It's, right. so, it's been one of those nights the words are escaping from my brain. But yeah, that's what I use. Karen Simply Soft. Not mm -hmm. a fan of using it for amigurumi, but I, I used it for the moose. It's just a head, two arms, and a nose. So, and antlers. I gotta do the antlers, yep. So yeah. then, once I, I gotta do, I have the hat done. I have one object of the four done, so it's better than uh -huh. nothing. And you got socks. And I got socks from Christy, so that's 
Perfect. And then I'm going to do a sweater and I have not decided what sweater I'm going to do yet because I'm on the fence of what I want to do with it. So <laughs> once I get started, I'll make a final decision. So until then, I don't know. All right. So I think it's your turn to look and see if we have some gifts tonight for the cuddle yep. along. So for during the cut along, it's the progress um photos and stuff that we are going on that you guys are sharing on both of our facebook pages regarding um uh, regarding let me pull myself together the progress photos we're putting your name on a wheel and we're going to draw for a prize all right but i get to pick what prize tonight or not you get to pick what prize and i'm switching it up so the past couple times i've done the giveaway i've done yarn and so tonight we're not doing yarn. We're going to do some pattern books. Uh -huh. So the first one is called Sophisticated Baby and Toddler. And it has six crochet designs. Here's a picture of those on the back. Uh -huh. And then this blanket on the front. Uh -huh. The very cute stuff. And it has just not like baby stuff it mm -hmm. has toddlers as well too very so the, cute that's a crochet book only right yes okay this is all crochet and i think that picture on the back is all the patterns in it so and plus the one on the front but okay. two sweaters three sweaters a bag and a, two blankets so all right not too bad mm -hmm. the other one is by leisure arts and it's crochet edging stitch guide so for huh. all those blankets that, you know, for example, the Witch White Filet, and you want to put a, a border on it, you're not sure what border, this is a book that you can also reference. Yeah. Have you, so, speaking of edgings, have you ever seen them do that elephant edging? I've seen that. Oh, there's the elephant. I wonder, oh, I don't know. I'll think about it. I like my halo. I'm just saying. I know, but that elephant like would be this one, this one has some, this one has some flowers. Yeah. Some really awesome. cute things. All right. So, Christy, which one are you going to pick to go tonight? And the other one that she doesn't pick goes into the final drawing for the grand prize. Uh, What's it going to be? The baby book in the grand prize. Baby book in the grand prize. We're going to do the edge work tonight. Yeah. All right. So I went through tonight to see who has entered progress photos since the last time. And I have 21 entries. Now this is on Stephanie's Facebook group because yes. Stephanie's picking. So it's only her group. Yes. When I pick, it's only my group. So you yeah. have to put your pictures in both in order to be entered in both. Yes. And should we tell them what we talked about earlier about the pictures with the final? It, yeah. If that? you put in a, a finished object in month number one, that's fine. We've already wrote you down for having one finished. And it, because some people gave their items away. And I didn't mean for you to have to have a picture of all four. No, 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 no. I just said if you wanted to, you could include a picture of all four because it would be nice if if they went together that we could see, you know. So yeah. That's all. But if but, you had four finishes, then you're in the grand prize regardless. Yes, we're keeping track of which ones you have finished. We know how many you have mm -hmm. finished. So we have a list, long lists of things. Yeah, long but, uh, list. <laughs> right? But I do want to point out that um, lately I've noticed that people have been posting pictures with all four and some of the colorways people are choosing are absolutely gorgeous. And some people are doing more than one like set. They've done two, three sets yeah, yeah. with a sweater hat, like, and they're so pretty and everyone's works are amazingly gorgeous. I love them. And so I'm do getting you think that we, um, we, um, instigated them or what do you call that word? inspired them yeah. do you we think we them. did i think so all righty then there's gonna be some lucky babies out there yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right so here's my wheel 
I think I picked the wrong wheel than I usually use because it's not moving. But there's my wheel. All the names in it, 21 names. Okay. We're going to spin. Do, oh, that was do, fast. Do, do, do. Catherine wins again? Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Congratulations, Catherine. So you send me a message as well, too. You because can't you... make this shit up. No. This is all <laughs> random. This is all random. And I will mail this book out to you. All right. Send me a message. That's so yeah. cool. That is so cool. Congratulations. Yeah. Lucky lady. Yeah. All right. Is it time? It's time. Are you sure? It's I been like sure. two months. Hasn't it's been two it? months. It's yes. been two months. Let we... me explain this. Explain yeah. it to you. Okay. I got an email from somebody saying, Hey, they're having a sale over the knit crate. It's a mystery bag for like 10 bucks. And I'm like, okay, I'm in. So I bought two mystery bags and I sent Stephanie over to get two. Well, yeah. a month went by and we didn't hear nothing. And like another two or three weeks went by and we didn't hear nothing. And then all of a sudden they finally emailed up, your item has been shipped. And I'm like, well, it's about time. So we have two mystery bags from Knit Crate, and I had stopped my Knit Crate because I wasn't going to do their crazy club and the new clubs that I was doing this year. So Yeah, it's I stopped my Knit Crate a long time ago, too. I think it was mid-last year, yeah. maybe fall, that I stopped mine. So before they upped the price, but... Okay, we're done complaining, I think. <laughs> we'll see what's inside, if there's complaints or not. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to open these. I have not cut this bag, but before you cut yours, tell them what we did the other night. Oh, with our ordering? So an idea was brought up in conversation one time that we, we do our nighttime ordering of yarn. So usually when we order yarn, typically what we do is we get the same yarn, different colors. Sometimes we might, one of us might throw an extra something in there. Um, and uh, I think I come up with that. No, did it, I? Yeah, it was I did. Oh, yeah. so I'm throwing myself under the bus. <laughs> so somehow I come up with this idea instead of <clears throat> ordering my stuff that I want. I'm going to pick out colors that I think Chrissy would like and ship it to her house. And then <laughs> she's going to pick out colors she thinks I'd like and ship it to my house. Yeah. So what happens then is I encourage her by saying, hey, Knit Crate's got a special deal. And, you know, <laughs> so off we go. 12 yep. o'clock at night. We're all there picking out cards. And, of course, it says on mine, build to Stephanie. I'm like. I paid uh, the bill. I paid the bill. Uh, and, oh, oh, and the other thing, too, is because she used the New York address, she had to pay New York taxes. <laughs> That's what Cuomo gets you every time, Steph. Uh, but you're not surprised because it has your address <laughs> on it. You didn't get the next day because it seems like when we have our order, besides this one that we're about to open, you get your orders like the next day. They like package it and drive it to your house. Well, you know why? Because they're so confused. They're like, Bill? Bill? Wait, what? Bill? Ship or different? He I doesn't don't like these colors. <laughs> <laughs> these aren't her colors. There's too much gray in it. <laughs> so that's going to be a fun opening there i'm it excited be. about yeah. that one we hope to do that in a couple weeks <laughs> yeah yeah all right i haven't cut it yet have you yeah. all right let's go let's do it we're gonna probably do one skein at a time don't cut any yarn stuff oh there's another bag inside oh yours has another bag yeah did you get two or one Two. You did? Okay. Yeah, there's two bags. See? Here's one. Oh, mine's not in here's those. One. It's two, two bags in one. One's a lot heavier than the other one. I, mine's not in those bags. I got a different kind of bag. You do? Yeah. 
Okay, I bet you they're all three different then. Because mine feel totally different than each other. So I'm going to put the heavy one on the ground and open the not so heavy one. <laughs> but you well, do, do you have a one light one and a heavy? One is heavier than the other, but okay. mine are in the green bags. Mine are in a different kind of bag. Oh, wow. I think, let me see what yours is like when you open yours. Okay. Like I said, I had one big teal bag and then two, two teal bags inside of that. Okay, well, this bag is purple. Okay, that's what mine is too. So we got, wow. We got yarn squad bags. Now I have had one of these. Yours is purple or blue? Purple. Okay. It's showing up blue to me. Oh, is it? That's purple. So this looks like a uh, backpack. Yeah. And I think I have one of these from last year's knit crate at one point. Oh, really? Yeah. It may not be exactly the same, but I think I have one. Well, that's cool because I don't yeah. need three of them. So if I, I don't know if I have another one, but I might, I might have to use it for a giveaway. Okay, so I thought this was knit crate yarn. Uh -huh. That's why the description said. That's what the description said. I'm ordering from knit crate. This is not knit crate yarn. Anybody want to guess what's in here? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna reach in and pull out a yarn and you're gonna be shocked. This is the first one. <sighs> Suds and cream cotton. Okay, really knit crate? You could have said it was junk, but okay, whatever. I'm just a whining, that's all. Um, what color is yours? It is pretty. Summer print. So it has teal and yellow. Speckle. Okay, my, mine's faded denim. It's pretty. It'll kill your hands just like all the others. Sugars and cream. Just saying. <laughs> I'd rather have yarn B. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, so now another one in here is this is something that belongs in a hand dyed yarn company's mystery bag. But sugars and cream does not. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. I'm done yipping for a minute. <laughs> this is a Sheep G's stone wash. So that's more on the line of, nah, please. Okay, so you got a pretty green one, but it's stone wash, so it's got that Faded look. Yeah. Nice. Now I have had these before. I have gotten a, the little tiny minis in all the colorways. I had like a hundred of them. I still have some. I have them stored away. I've used a couple, but I've never had one this big. This is 70% uh, cotton and 30% acrylic. It's very soft. It has a pull tab. Oh, and I can't see how many yards are in it. It's 75 meters because this is not made in the United States. I don't even see that. It's at the must... top, on, above the cotton acrylic, it says it at the very top. Oh, mine's 50, cut off. Oh, 50 grams, 75 meters. And this colorway is a number, 856. Very nice, very, very nice. You can make pumpkins out of this. Yeah, I got yarn fuzz like in my eye. Yeah, there's no wool in it. It's just uh, cotton. It's very pretty. I like it. I never used it before. This is my first time having this, so. I'm glad they were going to get a letter here pretty soon. <laughs> okay, oh, next. Sorry. Next is a sock ease. Well, I'm liking this now. Super fine one lion brand sockies. Look at the color. Is it the same one? Looks like it. 
coffee? Yes, caramel and glaze. Coffee. Very nice. Uh-oh. They're the same, just wound differently. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, so funny. So this is, um, yeah, that's our new saying, by the way. 438 yeah. yards. Wool, 75% wool, 25% nylon. Perfect for socks. Yeah, baby. Yep. All right. Those be pretty socks. I haven't had any of this, so I'm glad. Add it to my yeah. dash. You know? Yeah. All right. Yep. I haven't, I haven't had any of that before either, so. The next one in here is very soft, and it's the last one, and it's one of my favorite yarns ever. I never would have expected to get it from Knit Crate. But it is one of my favorite yarns ever. Does anybody, can anybody guess? No, it's not yarn B. That wouldn't be in the Nick rate. Uh, well, I also wouldn't expect uh, sugar and cream to be in the Nick rate either, so. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is Lion Brand. Beautiful you. No. You, oh. Is that what you got? Yeah, that's what I got. Oh, let's see it. Black. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Meteorite. You. I'm sorry. It's meteorite. Meteorite. Yeah. 326 yards, fine to 100% acrylic. I've never had this yarn either, so uh -huh. I can't even show it because it's black. <laughs> I can see it's black. Yeah. Shiny black. I mean, yes. The twist on it is very like. Have you ever had this yarn? I don't think so. I think, yeah, I, I can't, I think that Walmart it, sells it, right? If, the, if it wasn't like black, I could probably show the twist on this yarn, but it's it's very, yeah, I can't, you can't see it. I mean, seriously, Nick Crate yeah. went and bought yarn from, I'm sorry, but they did. Can't deny it. Okay. They probably so, didn't even buy it. It was probably given to them to throw in the bags. So the, they, still made out okay what'd you get i got a skein of lion brand heartland and oh, like really? i said it's one of my favorite yarns so yes. i'm not going to complain but i ex i had my hopes up that this was not great yarn yeah it's not. okay so Ooh. lion brand heartland a beautiful oatmeal colorway yes. we're calling it acadia I don't believe I have this colorway, so it is perfect to add to my collection. I know sometimes people say, why do you collect all the colors of that? Well, I do collect all the colors of Heartland. <laughs> I have all the colors you know, of Karen Simply Soft. What is, what is the sister yarn to Lion Brand Heartland? Does anybody know that? What is the exact same feel and and same yarn as Heartland. I don't know. Premier every day. Oh, Colors okay. are almost the same in everything. I just love the stuff. Yeah. So I have, you know, quite a lot of it. And sometimes I have, you know, oh, I'll be walking through the store and a colorway just jumps right out at you. And you're like, what is it? And bam, there it is. It's Heartland. And it yeah. always happens that way because I like, Heathers and I like, yeah. you know, so it's very gorgeous yarn. I love it. So that one is perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> I got four in that bag. That's all I have in that bag. Okay. All right. So we'll the other bag through. seems heavier. Yes, it does. It really does. And they were supposed to be the same price. So I don't understand, but that's okay. <laughs> Take the, this, this feels like it's got, um, don't tell me it's, don't tell me, I already guessed, I don't even have it cut open yet, see, no, no cuts on it, and I already guessed by feeling it, and you are laughing, so I know, we have gotten screwed right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I know why it's heavier now. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. again, a beautiful purple bag. Hey, Steph, what do you think we give away one of these purple bags? With the yarn in it? I don't know. 
think about it. I don't it. know. I don't know about that. I can't see the bottom. The other, the bottom looks. Yeah, we can give away a bag. You want to give a boy a bag? Yeah. Yeah, I want to give away one of these. I got three of them now. I might as well give one away. It's purple. Yeah. That's the that's least I can do is give away a purple bag. Yeah. Yeah. So the first yarn, did you find one you want to tell us about it? Well, can I just get this one out of the way? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what colorway is it? I'm sorry. It's psychedelic. Oh my gosh, I've never even seen that one. Is it discontinued already? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Most likely, right? Okay, I have... <laughs> <coughs> I have a sister for that one. Are you ready? Oh, this... Now wait, now wait. <laughs> don't tell me you got two of them. No, I, was, I thought I did, but I don't. Mine is plain green. <laughs> okay. I mean, I know it's useful. I know. Just not in a knit crate mystery bag. A knit crate mystery bag. Mine they don't go, even match. They go Mine together. They don't match? Mine don't match. Mine kind of do. <laughs> kind of do. <laughs> knit crate mystery bag. I need some wine. <laughs> I didn't even have any wine in Oh my goodness. Okay, so the, oh, that's why, because they have a big skein in there. That's why it was heavy, huh? Okay, what do you got next? Uh, well. <laughs> You're trying to save, I, I, the, she's not sure, this is the truth. She's trying to save the best for last, and she can't figure out which one's the best. I know, because we're the same. <laughs> 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 There's no. <laughs> Pull the band aid right off here. So the heart that's, that's was the best. <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty. It is pretty. But it's called Twinkle. Okay. That would make a good uh, blanket for a baby. Yeah. There is a couple of loveys. Because 275 yards. Yeah. It's pretty, but I, I, I guess I'm just disappointed because it's knit crate and I'm getting burnt out super value. Yeah. I know. I'm really pissed. Is <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, this one is burnt out super value and it is the C taupe colorway. Well, at least you got gray in yours. You freaking want it? <laughs> No, thank I'm, not, you. I'm not a fan of this colorway, but it's a four medium. It has, like she said, five ounces, 275 yards. I'm sure someone would love this yarn. And yeah. I am being mean because the only reason why we are is because we thought we were getting that great yarn. Yes, that's, I, the yarn is fine. It's absolutely, it, it from is. what we paid for it, it's yeah. definitely worth it, but it's yeah. from and it's crate, fun to open. So. And it, 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 yeah. But, you know. My, my label looks like it was pulled out of the back of the rack on the shelf. Like, yeah, well, they were sitting like, around the warehouse and they, you know, yeah. What else you got? But this is this is definitely I don't know what I think. Maybe some I know it's telling me what it's telling me to make a St. Patty's Day gnome out of this one. Ooh, right. Yeah. And I could put like gray highlights on it just because you like gray. <laughs> you never go wrong with gray. Well, I have some right here. Yeah. <laughs> um, in one of my favorite yarns, even. <laughs> no. <laughs> what did you find next? <laughs> It's better than the Bernat. <laughs> well, you don't know. <laughs> I should have did this one before the Bernat. If we're going saving the best for last, if we're going in that order. We normally do. I got, I got some Lion Brand home <laughs> You can't make this crap up. <laughs> Can I? Uh, I have the perfect shawl for that. 
do you? Yeah. Super simple shawl. I've made three super simple shawls with that homespun craft and it, they come out beautiful. Yeah. They sell at a craft. People like it. It's crinkly and it, and it stays crinkly because you use a big, like uh, an L hook. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Are and, you trying to get my hopes up about this? Yeah. You, you just have to trust me on that. Okay. Just to get rid Cover. of it. The color is celestial stripes. I think I have some upstairs of that. Do you, of this color? <laughs> I think maybe I do. <laughs> so if I need more, I could just send maybe. you a message. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> 185 yards, 98% acrylic, 2% other fiber. I, I didn't yeah. get any of that. What? No. I didn't get any of that crap. No, I mean, <laughs> I got worse. I don't know if it can be worse. How can it be? It's Lion Brand Comfy Cotton in gray. <laughs> they sent me the wrong bag. <laughs> <laughs> See, I got Comfy Cotton too, though. They sent me Stephanie's bag. I didn't want a refund. <laughs> I got it's Comfy Cotton too. I I don't, don't mind these colors. There's no color in gray. It's gray. It's a beautiful color. <laughs> it goes with everything. You have some. What color is that? This is stained glass. Oh, that's that's different. Still looks like a washcloth to me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, three hundred ninety-two yards of washcloths. Yeah, you get several. This is called the silver lining. There is a silver lining in this mystery bag. There is no silver lining. That means you got something else in your bag. <laughs> one more. I mean, there's one more. There's one more. Yeah, this is a three light, which I tend to feel that it's very dense. It is a very dense cotton. Don't call it three light. It's three heavy. <laughs> <laughs> We are meanies tonight. Meanies, I tell you. I'm okay. just bitter. I'm very bitter. Okay, here is the last one in mine. This is cut. This wrapper is beat to heck, I'm going to tell yeah. you. But it's probably from the shipping because, you know, they stuff it in a little tiny mailbox at the end of this, you know, oh, yeah. my driveway. So this is another Burnant Super Saver in this teal oh. colorway. It's a honking big skein of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> and it, it was in there. It was all the weight in there. It's a seven ounce skein, 100% acrylic, uh, four medium value yarn. Yeah, that's what that is. I'm going to come up with the name of this yarn here pretty soon. <laughs> I, I, for, I, it's what I always call, and I, I can't think of it anyway. Anyway, so that is our haul. Oh, it's called Peacock. That's what it's called. Oh. It's, that's a nice yarn. Yeah. I, what do you think about this haul, Chrissy? Tell me how I you think, really feel. I think it's fair. I think it is too. Well, no. Uh, yes and no. Um, for being for a knit crate, that doesn't sell this stuff on their website to buy this mystery for the price we paid. I would expect it from a different yarn company, but yeah, from Knit Crates, because that you can even buy this stuff on their website. So I was expecting well, for a mystery bag, it'd be from, there. From yarn. what I can see, this is discontinued colors. Yeah, it was leftovers from other warehouses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I would just think like if. You have a website of yarn that sells yarn and tools and stuff like that in your mystery bag should be your yarn and the, yeah. the products you have discontinued. Yeah, we never would have bought it. We wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't. It, we bought it because it said net right on. That is why we bought it. Yeah. So here we are at a crossroads again. If you would like to win something from me in my mystery bag, 
just let me know like three of these that you want and I will pick your name and I don't care which ones <laughs> really yeah whatever whatever three you want yep you know yep. you can um, pick out three things for me and you get the purple bag the bags are nice I would Welcome like from. to try that sock yarn because I haven't but you know what if they pick if they pick the sock yarn that's fine but if if not I get to keep one I guess yeah but yeah this stone wash though is, is pretty cool if you haven't tried the uh, sheep G's that's, that's oh, yeah. gonna be nice yeah it's gonna be nice. that was nice yarn too you know, you know, you could make wash plus with these, but I wouldn't recommend pot holders because it's got just enough acrylic in it to make it not, you know, it's not 100% cotton. Yeah. Not like these babies are. <laughs> so that's what you need to be on my channel. You need to decide what three of these that you want and write it on my channel. And then Stephanie's going to tell you what to do on her channel. Same as Christy, you do, you need to put what three skeins of whatever yarn you want down below. And if you're picked, I will send those three in the bag. The bag is nice. I yes. like the bag. Yeah. So you're going to get this beautiful bag. And I'm sure these are collector's items by now because they only did it the one month and whatever was left over. They're not making them anymore. Yeah. So that that's a thought anyway, which I like. The bags are very well made. Yeah, like they're nice bags. Have, yeah, they really are. So I hope you enjoyed our video. Yes. I hope <laughs> you subscribe to our channels and like and, and share and all that happy, you know what. Yes, and thank you all for participating in the make-alongs and all the shenanigans that we have going on. And Yeah. Yeah. And also... Um get it your finishes in because it's gonna get july is gonna fly by it's like every other month has, has flown by so far it's, grand prize day is gonna be here before we know it yeah so i don't even think we are going to do another drawing are we before we do grand prize i have i, I have four items in my grand prize right now what do you got I got two. I have one, two, three. Do I have three? Well, don't you have one tonight? Right? Does that make a four? It will be another book. At, it would be a book. You had three yarns so far? Four. Three yarns and a book. Okay, so we're even four and four. So if I do another one, then we wouldn't, we'd be odd and that'll yeah. be the end of the month. So we won't be doing grand prizes. I mean, we won't be doing any more randoms. It'll all be, so get your finishes in if you don't have all four in and, you know. Yeah, see. I can't wait to see how that turns out. Uh -huh. That'll be fun. Keep those pictures coming because I love seeing them and we will probably do another color cuddle along. It just, I don't know when. Yeah, we definitely will. But yeah. we've got some stuff up our sleeve for, oh, yeah. um, you know, the fall season. And I don't know whether we want to skip over a couple of months here and start a new make along right away or not. I'm not sure. We'll talk. Yeah. We'll yeah. figure it out. So we will probably been know when we know, so... <laughs> yeah so we figure it out i think we're done i think we showed everything huh i think so i think we're done it's way past that time yes it is all right <laughs> well i'd like to say good night from good night everybody Jose creation bye good night bye <laughs>